South Korea, a beautiful, prestigious country whose main exports are smartphones and pretty boys, but are sadly constantly in a struggle for their own survival. Whether from their very violent neighbors up north or trying to keep Ollie London out of their borders, there's always a fight to be had in the ball of red and white. And much like the war on drugs or the battle against terror, they face a new, squeakier, squishier foe, sex dolls. South Korea has formally lifted the ban on the import of full body sex dolls. Finally, the hammer of justice has struck. Say as you will about those creepy dead eyed spunk dumps, but they are very effective for the more lonely in our world. Let's just be transparent, some dudes and some ladies just aren't gonna have babies. Maybe social anxiety weighs on them, or maybe to sound a bit rude, they're just not attractive enough. Hell, maybe they have the worst combination of both, they're not attractive and have zero personality. These dolls can offer those things a type of companionship. Now to me or you, a quick trip to the DJ booth is fine enough. <laughs> Or a quick shake of the pepper pots is also adequate. But others, well, others like to cuddle. Others like to darmer it. And who are we to deny that right? Not the eating people part, but the warm embrace of a silicone lover should be a fundamental given personal liberty. And I, for one, will fight for your right to make squeaky squeaky love with whomever you choose. Maybe this is my calling in life. Maybe I should be Ollie London. But I don't express the desire to be Korean at all, I just do the surgery. Show up in court one day. As a proud Korean man who's lived in Seoul my entire life. <laughs> Oh, Ollie London's a terrible person. Ending years of debate over how much the government can interfere in private life. Although there are no laws or relegations banning the import of sex dolls, hundreds and perhaps thousands have been seized by customs, which cited the clause in the law that bans the import of goods that harm the country's beautiful traditions and public morale. Uh huh. Korea, the entire point of your music industry is for people to bump uglies. Your most famous band, BTS, is solely popular because they are soft twink boys. They are designed to be as easy to digest as like this glass of water. I don't want to hear this cuck if you want to protect the morality of your citizens. Your citizens are culturally influenced by Japan. They're already degens by association. Sucking up manga and anime like dirty little greasies. Covered in their own oil and filth. If that's already happening, you may as well let them stick their dicks in plastic in peace. Importers complained and took their cases to court, most of which agreed with them and ordered customs to release the sex dolls, saying they are used in people's private spaces and don't undermine human dignity. Ew! Ew, dude, no, no. If I'm caught doing something embarrassing and then I have to go to court to explain the thing that I'm doing and why it isn't illegal, I wouldn't even bother. It's just like when I got that court summons for that nature park misunderstanding. I was just petting that deer, by the way. Well, it's like that because I know I wouldn't want to go to the court and plead why that doll should belong to me. It kind of gives me that vibe of when you're a kid and an adult was mean to you. So you tell your parents and they make you hold their hand while they go yell at that other adult and force them to apologize to you and you still feel embarrassed even though you've done nothing wrong but well, it's kind of like that but the manufacturer is your mother you are the child and the hyper realistic margaret robbie look-alike with the gorilla grip 3000 built in and the remote activated hand flesh doll is the ball that you kicked into that neighbor's yard it's pretty much the same thing on monday the korea custom service said in a statement that it began enforcing a revised guideline for the importance of life-size adult sex dolls it said it reviewed recent court rulings and opinions from relevant government agencies, including the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family. The Customs Service said it will still ban the import of, oh, childlike dolls, or others embodying certain people. It said other countries like the United States, Australia, and the UK also ban childlike dolls. Dude, that's not meant to be clarified. That's a given. I don't think manufacturers should be allowed to make childlike dolls to begin with. If you wanted to, you could set up a GG Easy Honeypot for Nancy boys. Also, as far as lookalikes go, you can't really stop that. The guy could for example, just use a different importer for the plastic face. Not that I would know. Also, I'm curious, how much do one of these things cost? Nearly 700 pounds on the base level! Bro, a PS5 is cheap and that stuff can actually run hardware. I guess I'd be pretty angry too if the government snatched away my boo after I paid that much money. <laughs> they should throw a getting out of jail party for the doll. Ooh, even better, what if they have visiting days? They get to see them for like a glass panel. Chess, Chess, baby, I'm so happy to see you. You're so cute putting on that brave face. I got our son, Jess. It's a boy. He's from Toys R Us. Well, the decision reflects South Korea's slow yet gradual moves to restrict state interference into personal lives. Some women's rights and conservative organizations will likely again voice their opposition 
to the use of sex dolls. They say they deepen sexual objectification of women and undermine public morale. I mean, I don't hate that argument. Some men would get the wrong impression of what's appropriate to do with a real life woman, especially if they're socially inept to buy one of these slivery sloots. But if that was a valid concern, you would outlaw as well. And then offer an alternative to those things to help these men, you know, to put them on a healthy path. It's all well and good saying that these guys are gross if that's the way you feel, but what are you doing to help them? They still have needs. You need to start some sort of social program. Otherwise, now you've taken away their outlets to express their goopy desires. So what's left for them? Let's just say if you have a social pariah who can't get any num num, who's been told by his government he can't find any form of intimacy in inanimate objects, and then outright ban the video outlet that allows him to release his juices, and then on top of that won't help him find any real woman. Well, I'm sorry, mate, you just made a- R is for rabbit. You may think that's extreme, but we're talking about protecting morals. If that's the case, you gotta protect all of the morals, right? And let's not forget, we're talking about fellas who are willing to drop mad bank on companionship that isn't even real. These fellas cannot be well adjusted if they're going through such extremes for some form of partnership. It's literally just not possible. Otherwise, they do what we all do. Buy a Lightning McQueen toy, two sponges with a little bit of tape, spit on your hand, and go absolutely ham. Karen Co., a South Korean company that imports sex dolls, said in a statement that it was deplorable for custom services to lift the import ban after allegedly wasting taxpayer money for lawsuits with importers. The company said it has suffered immense losses. It said South Korea must reform other regulations that have a negative impact on the economy. We fought our people's right to seek happiness and use the dolls in their private lives have been restricted by the state, said Lee Sang-jin, who headed one of the company's online shopping malls. There are various types of people who use dolls, including those who are alienated or those who need them for artistic purposes. Do mannequins can serve the same function and they cost a fraction of the price. This is purely for fucking some pom pom. <laughs> Oaks just can't accept the purpose of their company, huh? There's always some like holier than thou approach. In my opinion, Nike makes shoes for feet, not for transporters to the new worlds. Peanut butter is for kissing, not for tasting a good flavor. My dad isn't around because it's my fault. These are just some of the facts of life. A banana is a banana, and these dolls are meant for slamming. End of. Lee said the decision by the customs was reasonable, but a bit late. South Korean authorities don't crack down on the sale of domestically made dolls, but the quality is generally inferior to those made abroad, Lee said. Lee said his former company has already taken back more than 20 dolls from customs, officials through lawsuits. He said the company has filed separate lawsuits seeking government compensation as many of the retrieved dolls became unusable following the two years of seizures by customs services. Why were they unusable, Lee? What if the head customs official is just some greedy megalomaniac who wanted to sample all of the ice cream in the shop before sending it on its way? Protecting the morals of the Korean citizens by making sure their dolls were up to scratch. Imagine getting one of these and already something's inside of it. <laughs> the custom services decision would allow importers to get back their dolls held in government storage run by the agency. Custom officials said they still likely hold more than 1,000 dolls that have been sent to South Korea since 2018. What's that Mac Miller song that all of the white girls used in order to grandstand during the BLM movement? Can we bring that back for my dolls? No free until we're equal. Damn right, I support it. That's all I have to say, lads. It's a new year, so you newly have to subscribe again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to this new year full of new possibilities. And I'll see you guys later. Love you all. Bye-bye.